Hello and welcome to On Location with Scott. I am Scott, in case you haven't been here before. <laughs> Thus the channel name. <laughs> I'm today we're critiquing transportation photos. Now before I get into the uh, critiquing of the photos, I really want to emphasize to people that are submitting the photographs, do not use Instagram, copies from the Instagram that you've had. They're too small, they don't look good, and they're fuzzy, and I won't use them after today. Um, screenshots, I don't want any screenshots either because they're kind of fuzzy and blurry and you'll be able to see the difference as we go through. I've put them in today, some of them, the, some were just too small and I couldn't use them. So with that said, let's move on to the critiquing and we'll start with the first one here. And the first one is um, from Scoops. Now this is a screenshot and do you know what? The screenshot is really good here. It's the, the van and the flags and the thing the clouds in the background, really nice screenshot, but you can tell that it's, it's, a, it's a snapshot of a, either, I got it either from Instagram or from, um, from a snapshot from a TV. So the clarity isn't very good. Composition, really good. Okay, we'll move on to the next one. Terry's Mustang, beautiful car, beautiful car. And he's got, this Mustang and again this is just me most people might not like it but I like to see the front of the car as opposed to the rear of the car it just that's just me I mean it's a great shot technically it's in the bottom third you've got the background of the legislative buildings because I know where this vid photo was taken and it, it's very nice the only thing I would do differently again is put the front forward I, I don't like the back shots of cars if you're doing an expose and you want to do uh, the front, the back, the windshield, the, the roof, everything, yeah, that's fine. But just as a plain single photograph, I like to see the front grill of the car and extending. The only thing I would do different here, other than the front of the car, is if you could blur the background a little bit. Shoot with an open f-stop, 1.2, 1.4, and I know most lenses unless you get a prime lens, don't have those openings. Um, but if you can blur the background a little bit, it makes it even better. Even though you can see the columns from the legislative building, if it blurred a little bit, it would make a much better photograph. I mean, it's a good photograph. Don't get me wrong. Next is Drive Shaft Drew. And he obviously took this recently, uh, even though I know a story behind the thing. I really like this photograph because it, it shows the, it tells a picture, right? There's l snow on the leaves of the fern trees or the, um, yeah, the trees. But it, 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 snow it shows that it just freshly snowed, right? The only difference I would make with the composition is I'd put that car in the top left-hand corner a little bit instead of in the middle. Put it in the top left-hand corner and show more of the driveway that's, covered in snow and then it kind of leads up to it but a good sh shot I get the picture there it tells a story this one's from explore with drew and it's obviously a cruise ship from the front really good picture the only thing that I would that's technically wrong is the shadows in the front so you don't see the detail in the shadows now if you shot with uh, raw you could bring up the shadows a little bit and see just a little bit more detail of the front but I mean, composition-wise, it's very good. Next, Mr. Bexy. What do we got here, Mr. Bexy? We have your car. And I get this. You know, it's it's obviously at a race track. It, it, the cars are there and they're sponsored and everything else. And you see the tires in the foreground and everything. And it's hard to take a good photograph in the pits. Unless you have a really wide lens. Uh, because then you get the tires, you get, I get the background of the driver. I, I like that. But if we could get the tires out of the way and the other car and just focus on the one car, and I know it's very difficult to do. But technically, it's a good shot. You got the roof overhead. It shows that it's, they're working under a canopy. In the background, you got the driver, picture of the driver of the car. You got a guy working on it. Maybe get him where he's standing up and you can see his head a little bit looking down but the tires kind of block that image a little bit. And again, unless you move those tires, 
and it's hard to get a good photograph. But technically, it's really good. Next is Liam's. Okay, he's got a Trans Am, obviously. Probably, what, a 76, 77, somewhere around there. And he's the front light, the front part of it is blown out because the sun from it, the garage opening is obviously hitting there. The only thing he could have done differently, um, Liam, is kind of move a little bit to the left and make that picture, bring the sun in, uh, like more of the front grill. And then you expose it for the highlights, which would be the front grill because that's where the sun is. And then the back part would be dark, but it would be like a transient picture from bright to dark um, with the exposure. But you have to expose for the highlights. And the, obviously the highlights are showing up. When you look at this picture, where are you drawn to? Not the back of the car, the middle of the car. You're drawn to the front where the highlight is. So the only thing is move your camera angle so it's not as flat. Make it a little bit longer. But I, I mean, it's a good picture. I, I, like the, I like the car. Now, here we go. Liam. Liam, Liam, Liam. Love the picture of the engine, but you got to move in. Just move in closer and just focus on the engine. You lose the, the detail on the sides where the stool is and where the flooring is, but just focus on the engine. Move in a little bit closer. Fill the frame with the engine, if you will. But again, that's the Trans Am, and I know what that one is. Now we go to Luke. Luke has this, I think this is a snapshot from a video game, probably um, Grand Theft Auto. And I like the snapshot. Again, if it was a regular picture, I would want you to move right in and fill that grill to fill the frame. And it would have been an awesome photograph. I like, I like the front of the uh, cars better. Next, we'll move on to one Trent man. Obviously an airplane, a float plane. And I like this picture. The only thing, there's only one thing I would do differently is I would take some of the blue sky out and put more of the dock in. It would create more depth of field. But make sure you get the wings, the wingspan in there. And I, I see that you got that. That's great. But I would have put more dock into the front of the picture at the bottom and less blue sky. And then just kind of fill it in. Like move that plane up to the top third and just a little edge of the blue sky. But technically, it's a, it's a great photograph. Love airplanes like that. Drive Shaft Drew honored us with a <laughs> photograph, <laughs> which was kind of nice. He's got this, he works at Cleason's and it's, he's a heavy duty mechanic, works on, tra on uh, semis and stuff like that. And this was one of the original vehicles that Cleason's had. And it was in their showroom for years. Now, the only thing I would do is get a little closer, fill the frame with the, with the truck and take out the rear view mirror. Get out of the vehicle and take the picture. <laughs> Don't be lazy. <laughs> that's it that's all uh, Mr. Bexy this is her Bexy picture now this is very a very good picture I don't know what it was taking with uh, but the only thing I would do differently Mr. Bexy is put in more clouds and move the boat from the middle to the left to show the vast area and that the boat is going across or you move it to the right and you can see the, the stuff that's gone by. But technically, it's a great shot because you've exposed for the highlights and the clouds. Um, I, would, I would just take the clouds and give you more clouds. It'll make it a little bit more dramatic and move the boat to the left. Like the rule of thirds, right? I, I, I'm a big believer in that. But a good photograph, nonetheless. Luke. Now, I don't, this was from Snapchat, uh, not Snapchat, but Instagram. And it's a cool car. It really is. It's probably 60s car, maybe. Looks like a, I don't know, a Pontiac. 
whatever. I'm not sure because it comes from Britain and I don't know the British cars. But anyway, great photograph. Send it in the higher quality next time. Not from Instagram, but a great photograph. Move the car down a little bit or get a little closer and fill the frame a little bit. Um, and if you can blur the background out, that'd be great. But a very good picture. But the quality, again, those photographs that are coming in, don't send them in off of Instagram anymore. Send the original files, original size. I delete everything. I can promise you that I will delete everything. Once this video is made, I delete everything. The pictures, because they're not mine. They're not mine, and I delete everything. So next, we'll move on again to Driveshaft Drew. And here we go again. This is a gorgeous picture. I don't know that anything I would change in it. Maybe if you could, I mean, you could see the snowflakes are blurred, so it was taken at a little lower shutter speed. You can see the transport of the people going up and down the hill. If you could, and it's on the third, but if you could have started, and I, and I know you're snapping it while you're going up, it's not easy to do. But I like where the, the pillar is that's holding the, the cars. But the back, if you could have just got it a little bit of an angle so you didn't look straight up, and you kind of looked from bottom right to top left a little bit, you could see a little bit more um, depth into it. Like right now, it looks like flat. But if you put it a little bit on an angle, that post and then the chairs kind of run behind and they'll run into each other. I, but it's a great photograph. I love that photograph. And now my last one is mine. Now this one I took with my professional DSLR. It's It was at a uh, Gimli drag race show. It was a few years ago. Well, one of my favorite photographs of a car. He was smoking the tires. You can't tell the difference between the clouds and the background and the smoke. And you just see that front grille. And that's what I mean by a front grille. You see the length of the car without the smoke on most car pictures. And you get that grille. It tells you exactly what it is. It, I, I couldn't have taken a better picture on that. It just it, it works so well. And I was I used a 200 millimeter lens for that. So I was back and I captured, but you fill the frame and you put in the bottom thirds or the top thirds and the way the smoke was billowing out, you can see the clouds in the very top right hand corner. That was, but you don't know what is clouds and what smoke. One of my favorite, favorite pictures. Well, that's it. Um, finish critiquing and what we will do for next topic is we'll make it anything you like open source, open contact. Um, in the comments, if you can, leave ideas for photographs for future videos. But right now, it's a, it's a free-for-all. Send in portraits, landscapes, cars, snow pictures, whatever you want. Art pictures, whatever you want. So next week, wide open, just to make it really easy. And after next week, we'll start focusing down on more specific pictures so i hope you enjoyed this critique hope you learned something from it i know i do i always do and when i critique them it really it really gives me more thought when i take my pictures so i'm not critiquing them to be mad there's they're all good photographs and snapshots but if we can make them just that much better and make them pop and I have a video coming out early in January that'll help you make those pictures pop. But until then, this was a, just a critique on the pictures that you sent in. Next week's wide open. And until I see you again, cheers.